Welcome to the Reimagining Apps for Ultrabook series with Luke Rabluski. Today, we'll continue our look at the impact of new technical capabilities on desktop application design with an overview of location detection and how we can use it to enhance the apps we create. Location detection has been a key element of mobile devices for years. Today, a typical smartphone can locate itself in several ways, using cell tower triangulation, GPS positioning, or Wi-Fi access point information in dense urban or indoor areas. The immediacy and increasing accuracy of these systems has led to an explosion of location-based services on mobile. Nearly three-quarters of all smartphone users in the United States use real-time location-based services regularly on their devices. Facebook alone collects over two billion location tags a month from user check-ins. Clearly, location is a big deal for highly portable smartphones, but what about larger form devices, like Ultrabooks? Today, not only can laptops use the same Wi-Fi access point powered location services used by smartphones, but increasingly, more accurate location detection technologies like GPS are being included in platforms like the Ultrabook. This creates new opportunities for desktop application designers and developers to integrate location-based information into their apps. Step one to taking advantage of this opportunity is understanding what's possible. For that, let's look at what we can expect from the location detection features one might find in an Ultrabook. GPS gives us very accurate location, down to 10 meters, but it can take some time to establish a location, especially the first time. GPS can also drain battery life and is usually ineffective indoors. Wi-Fi access point information, on the other hand, takes almost no time to position and has no additional drain on battery life. Wi-Fi location accuracy, however, doesn't hold up to GPS, just 50 meters or so when the density of Wi-Fi access points is high. Even still, two-thirds to three-fourths of the time a device like the iPhone locates itself, it is using Wi-Fi location lookup services. And when you compare both GPS and Wi-Fi location detection to what was previously available on the internet with IP detection, you can see we've come a really long way from knowing with 99% accuracy that you're in a particular country right now. Now that we have a sense of what location detection can do, let's put it into action. In the previous videos in this series, we took an existing desktop application design and rethought it for touch, target, and gesture support. Let's build on that work and see how we can take advantage of the location capabilities of the Ultrabook platform. As before, we'll work with the Twister app, designed to be the ultimate social networking tool for the storm chasing community. Twister is very well suited for large screen, high powered, portable devices with multiple input formats, like the Ultrabook. Storm chasers need to capture lots of accurate information on location, process it quickly, and track what other chasers are seeing where they are as well. So location detection is key to making this app work. The most basic capability of location detection is finding our devices and ourselves on a map. Even this simple feature, however, can do a lot for our application design. When browsing updates from fellow storm chasers in the original Twister application, you'll note we can see where an update was created. That's really useful when you're sharing storm sightings and data. But capturing this location data with enough accuracy to make it useful in our original application was painful. We had to ask each user to tell us precisely where they were so we could include detailed location information with their update. This manual data entry is not only painful for users, but could lead to entry errors as well. In our redesign for the Ultrabook platform and Windows 8, things are much smoother. When our redesigned version of Twister for this platform is first opened, we simply ask people if we can have access to their location. If they agree, from that point on, we can instantly look up their location using the most precise information the device has, Wi-Fi access points, GPS, or anything else that's available. This means the process for capturing location when someone creates an update is drastically simplified. In fact, for our user, it's non-existent. We can simply append their location to an update and give them the option to remove it if they choose. No data entry required. This means we can capture a lot more location information. 
Moving over to the maps portion of the Twister application, we can now see this data in use and how it adds value for anyone using the application. In this example, three storms have been reported by Twister users. Since the Twister application has access to our current location, we can also see how far away we are from each of them. Let's say we're considering taking a closer look at the storm nearest us. We'll simply tap on its icon to reveal a set of actions and information. Right away you can see updates from the location and about the storm. Because we made it so easy to append a location to each update, we can surface location relevant information instantly. But what fun is reading about a storm when you are a storm chaser? So let's head over to Sue Things first hand by tapping on the intercept action. Now we're starting to see location information used in a richer way. That is, instead of just pinpointing ourselves on a map, we can see our relationship to another object. In this case, the storm we want to chase. Note the storm's predicted path is matched with the best route for us to intercept it. We even get a sense for how long it'll take to intercept based on our current rate of travel and distance from the storm. Now let's update that information in real time as we drive closer to capture more detailed observations. As this example indicates, location detection isn't just static. It can provide useful dynamic information as well. When coupled with additional sensors and the processing power of an ultrabook, we can collect and share lots of storm data as we move closer to our target. Even when we're not in hot pursuit of a storm, having access to location detection can be quite useful. Consider as we're driving through storm country, our path may be annotated with storm images, shared with fellow storm chasing Twister users, or even previously marked up with information or reminders by, our, by us. By keeping track of location in the background of Twister, we can surface these useful bits of information to people using the app as they become relevant. Perhaps with a dialogue that lets us know some recent updates were posted near our current location. Or maybe less intrusively with a notification that, are, that there are new points of interest on the map. We can even give our users control over these geofenced updates by allowing them to select a location on the map and set reminders for themselves the next time they are in the same location, collect the new data, check the previous readings, or whatever they choose. These reminders will just automatically come up when the same location is visited again. In looking at these examples in the Twister application, we've seen that location is much more than just finding points on a map. The location detection capabilities in the Ultrabook platform provide ways to rethink existing application design through location inclusion, filtering, interactions between objects, background processing, and more, desktop applications can be enriched and improved through location. For further information on developing applications to take advantage of location detection, check out Intel's Ultrabook developer community site. You can find the link in the blog post accompanying this video. As always, thanks for your time, and I'm looking forward to having you join me in the next video in this ongoing series. Until then, thanks for tuning in.